is of Thrill Seekers. Today, we are here at Nickelodeon Universe. Oh yes, um, I looked on the website today and it said that really all of the uh, coasters were open. The only rides that were gonna be closed were like Dora's Railway and something else like small. So yeah, we're gonna get all of the awesome credits and gonna ride the top, or sorry, the steepest coaster in the world. Tallest was yesterday at, at um, Six Lives Great Adventure. But anyways, let's have an awesome day. I don't know what we're going to first. Do you wanna start it off strong with TMNT Shell Razor? Let's do it. So TMNT Shell Razor is the tall, or I literally almost just said tallest again. It's the steepest roller coaster in the world. It's actually a clone of Takabisha, but they just made the, the drop um, like 0.5 degrees steeper. So love that. Um, all right, let's do this thing. I'm excited. There's no weight, zero weight. There's no one here. That's crazy. It's gonna skirt. Whoa, gymnastics. I have to admit, I know very little about this park. I don't know what their musical policy is or anything like that. So we'll see. Here we go. They do have bins on the ride platform. So there you go. There you go, just did TMNT Shell Razor twice in a row. We did it once in the front and then once in the back. That is a pretty good ride. Um, the potholes, people kept saying like, oh, there's potholes, it's kind of rough. They didn't really do much, at least whenever we rode it. Like, you could tell that there were some parts that were more jittery than others. Like, it wasn't glass smooth, um, but it definitely didn't really affect the ride experience, at least in my opinion. Um, I thought it was totally fine. You and me, like the potholes weren't really yep. not, bad at all. not bad at all. Um, Alrighty, we were going to do the shredder real quick, but we're gonna go and see if Sandy's Blasting Bronco is open because um, I, I haven't seen it go yet, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. Big L's. Yeah, I don't think it's open right now, at least. Sandy's Blasting Bronco is closed. Alrighty then, next ride up is going to be half pipe. Let's do this. Seems pretty fun. Seems like the green one spins a lot more than the other one. Alright, that's awesome. I love how they have a height limit for this ride. It's 6'5". Um, he's 6'3", I'm 6'1", so we're close to being too tall. There you go. Be sure to keep your okay, auto spiels. I see you. Slime streak first because it's easier to do that. It's on the way. All right, let's do this thing. Oh, this way. <laughs> the entrance has a chain in front of it, but uh, people are still boarding. So, question mark. Okay. It was good. <laughs> I mean, we didn't really fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, it it was fun. Like there was, it went a lot faster than I expected it to. Yeah. For sure. Um, and it kind of like went around the whole park. You know, like it went over some other ride station. It was really cool. Um, but if Not you're, for tall I was gonna say if you're over like six foot then you're gonna have a hard time like getting your legs in there. But anyways, uh, oh, 
we gotta go this way to do Shredder. All right, the Shredder. Let's do it. Look at his man. Spooky. There you go. Shredder was pretty fun. I think that's probably my favorite, like, like free spinning coaster. Yeah. Actually, like my favorite. I was gonna say horizontally free spinning, but I think free spinning. Period. Because Joker and Batman aren't aren't the best. But yeah, so that's that's my favorite like free spinning coaster. It's really nice. Um, it's really cool whenever uh, TMNT Shell Ranger is kind of going around you. Makes it pretty fun. Uh, we only had it. We had it kind of go by us like once or twice, but it wasn't a perfect tool, unfortunately. But we tried twice and it didn't really work. We'll probably come back later. Anyways, I kind of want to do the air race. Let's, do it. Let's go. I don't know why I'm riding this because I ride this like a lot because I operate one. Um, but you know, that's okay. Alright, he just got off of air gliders, I think is what it was called. And um, it kind of felt weird because uh, I kept expecting like banana 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 you know, but nope. Oh, going the wrong way. Now we're gonna do skyline screen. Let's do it. It's actually taller than I expected it to be. That's fun. What's up? <laughs> it does look like your pants are coming off. That's funny. Nice. Do you have any loose items like a backpack or a donut or a porcupine? What? And there you go. Skyline Scream, I think is what it was called. That was really fun, actually. It's a lot taller than I expected it to be. And also, we got SpongeBob and Patrick at the top. I think there's um, like two different characters, like a duo from for each kind of side. So yeah, it was really nice. My dad's being creepy looking at the girl with no pants on. She got pants on? Okay. It's really funny because like her skin tone matches the pants like perfectly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's really funny. Uh, oh, the bubble guppies! That was that was such a good show. Oh no! Not Dora Sky Railway. Alrighty. So the plan is to ride Shell Razor one more time, and then we're going to go get food out into the mall. I may film that because why not? Um, and then we'll probably come back. See if uh, Bucking Broncos opens a little bit later in the day. And then that's really it. Like, the park is dead. There's only, you know, we only really care about riding, like, what, six rides? So, not too much to do here. As usual, there's no one here. Uh -huh. There you go. Gonna get back row, because we actually like that a lot better. go grab some food uh, I'm not really sure where but we'll be back in in like three two one well we're not back in the park yet but look at that water park dude that looks so cool yeah that's awesome what oh super expensive to get in though it's like a hundred dollars but still that's crazy also, the water park apparently gets more crowded and it actually opens earlier than the dry park. It opens at 10 instead of 11 like the dry park, which usually it's the opposite. But anyways, let's go back to Nickelodeon Universe now. 
And we're back at Nickelodeon Universe. Uh, probably just gonna ride Shredder a couple times. We wanna try to get that, like, the coaster going around us, TMNT Shell Razor going around us. Then we'll probably ride Shell Razor one more time, and that's really it. But first, I wanna ride the best ride in the park. I'm actually gonna ride this because it kind of looks fun. Here we go. One more time. There you go. That's so fun. Um, honestly, this is one of the rides where I actually like being stapled on it because the restraints really dig in to like kind of right here on your thighs um, and it really hurts. So what you want to do is like actually whenever, because it's going to come down during the ride really quick. There's no way that you're going to keep it up um, unless you push all of your weight into it, which wouldn't really be comfortable either. So um, just skewed up a little bit and then it like presses higher on your thigh and it's a lot more comfortable. Uh, but still like the vertical lift hurts really bad, but that's okay. Um, anyways, we're gonna ride Shredder a couple times, see if we can uh, see Shell Razor going over us, because um, that would be super cool. And yeah, let's do it. Ready? Let's do this. Alrighty, gotta ride the world's steepest roller coaster one more time. It's a really, really fun ride. It's like a solid top. I think it just misses my top 40 or something like that. Yeah, so it's a really good ride. Uh, top 40 out of 196 is pretty high. Eh, kinda. Super solid ride. It's a pretty good ride, you know? I, I think I would rank it like close to most of the B&M like floorless coasters that I've ridden. It actually feels a little bit similar in a lot of areas um, to one of those and that's kind of like, that's kind of the, I guess, awesomeness of this ride. It's like, if it was at another park, I would consider it a really good like supporting coaster, you know? Um, but anyways. That's really going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to go check out some other vlogs that we've done from, I think we're doing like eight parks on this trip. Uh, link to the playlist is right up here in the corner. So go check that out. We have already done Six Flags Great Adventure, Six Flags America, um, King's Dominion, and the Bush Gardens Williamsburg and we're doing Hershey Park tomorrow, Dorney Park and Knobles as well. And then we're also gonna go back to Six Flags Great Adventure. So got more parks to come, some parks that we've already been to. So definitely go check all, out all of those vlogs. Anyways, I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.